Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Last week we built this circuit, or we, actually I mean I, uh, built this circuit to demonstrate how you can control an RGB LED strip uh, with the help of a MOSFET and uh, Wemos D1 Mini. We were almost done, um, again, I mean I. So the only thing left now to do is to write some code and upload it. So let's go to the editor. So the code is very simple. There's nothing in the setup loop. Uh, we go straight to the main loop in which there are two four loops which increase the duty cycle of the PWM signal from 0 to 1023. Writes that value to pin D1 on the mini. Then it delays for one millisecond and it goes through the loop again until it reaches a value of 1023. It goes into the next loop, uh, which starts at 1023 and decreases it by one each time until it reaches zero, and then it goes back again. So let's connect D1 Mini and upload the code. Um, for safety reasons, I always disconnect any other power source to the D1 Mini, just because I don't want to blow up my computer. Let's hit upload. And it's done. Unplug the USB cable, plug in the 12 volt, and we should see the LEDs fading in and out again. Great, it works. So, something else um, the standard range for the duty cycle uh, of the PWM signal. Uh, goes from 0 to 1023. Well, an RGB value has a value, or actually three values, that go from 0 to 255. To make our lives a bit easier, we can adjust the range of the analog write function by adding just one line of code in the setup, that is analog write range and then give it a value of 255 and just for good measure we have to change the two for loops to 255 as well and again we connect the d1 mini and hit upload yeah that happens sometimes i always forget the semicolon again upload and disconnect the power and connect the 12 volt and there we go now the flashing happens a lot quicker than it did because it takes less time to do 255 or actually 256 steps than it does to take 1024 steps um, we can make it flash, actually, what's it do, what it's doing now, a little bit slower by increasing the delay. So let's say after each analog write, there's a 10 millisecond delay. Just connect the power and connect the D1 Mini again and upload. Done, disconnect USB, connect the 12 volt. And now as you can see, the fading happens a lot slower than it did. So I found this little piece of RGB strip, uh, which is basically what the whole LED strip, uh, no matter how long it is, is made of. It's three LEDs in series and then repeated for as long as needed. So I've connected four wires. I've connected the 12 volt, the green, the red, and the blue, uh, which I happen to have. That usually doesn't happen that I have the correct colors. So let's see what happens when we use this instead of the LEDs. So I've now connected the 12 volt power supply directly to the strip and 
to the drain, which is the middle pin. I'm going to connect the green LEDs and let's see what happens. There we go. And again, you can see the green slowly fading in and fading out. The same thing for the red LEDs. Slowly fading in and fading out. And well, we all already saw that blue was working but just to see it working on this strip there's blue and this is basically if you use a MOSFET between each of the three colors you can make any color you like well of course not any color um, but within the RGB range you can create any color just with the help of a D1 Mini or an ESP8266 and three MOSFETs. So, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you do, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And for now, I'm gonna say bye-bye. Alexa, say bye-bye. Talk to you later.